guys. Alright, so I am finally going to film my How I Found Out I Was Pregnant video because a lot of you guys have been asking and I've got a lot of people messaging me that are, that were in like the same kind of position. They wanted to know like how early you can test and like what I was feeling and all of that. So... That is going to be this video because everyone's been asking and today is going to be my filming day and I'm filming like three videos today, I'm hoping. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, so, I'm literally jumping right into this. Okay, so I bought two tests, first response, with my friend about a week afterwards because I just knew that something was not right and I talked to her about it and me and her are extremely close. We've known each other since kindergarten so I was talking to her about it and everything and of course we googled things and don't google things honestly it's not good. I just knew something was different so then I, um, I googled how early you could test, and first response test is like five days earlier or something, so I was like, okay, perfect. So seven days after, I tested in the morning, because morning urine is better, um, because you're, I forget what it's called, but something is higher. So yeah, I tested in the morning, and that test came back negative, and... As every other video you can watch on YouTube about how I found out I was pregnant, everyone will say you like sh they knew it was wrong. Like there's no way that it's like right. You just know, and I totally agree with that because I knew and I was like, no, this is wrong. Like whatever. So then I just waited, and then it was, um, oh. And that was before I got my period. Like, I was supposed to get my period. And then February 2nd was my missed period day. And then I waited three days after I missed my period because I was like, you know what? I'm just going to wait because sometimes it's late, sometimes it's early. I'm just going to wait. So then I waited and then I was like, I tested on a Friday and I tested in the morning, and I was home alone, um, and I was like, I'm just gonna test, I'm just gonna find out, I feel like I am, but I'm not sure, so then I went to the bathroom, and I was home alone, my friend wanted, my friend's like, just wait till, like, tomorrow, and we'll find out together, and I'm like, no, I need to find out now, like, I'm not waiting, so then I took it, and as soon as I took it, I was like, no, I'm not, I'm like, I'm not at all, and I went into complete denial mode. So then I put it up on, we have like this huge bookshelf thing that we keep everything on, in my bathroom, and I put it up on there, and I did not look at it. I cleaned my face, I brushed my teeth, and I didn't look at it at all. And it's we, it wanted me to wait two minutes, I believe it was, two or three minutes, and I just waited longer. And I was like, nope, I'm not. And I did film right when I found out but I am not going to upload that video ever. I'm going to put it on my laptop and never upload it because it's super embarrassing. And I was like crying and I was like excited, but then I was nervous. And then it was just, I'm never going to upload it. I don't know. And I wasn't wearing a bra in the video. And I, uh, I was really in shock. And it was completely weird. But Taken prior to this, I've I had two weeks to think about if I was, if I wasn't, and everything to that. And yeah, so then I found out on February second. No, I found out on February fifth, and I tested, and it was two dark bold lines. I still have the test. I will never get rid of it. Um, I found out. And then I called my sister about, th like, about an hour and a half afterwards, and I was like, hey, when do you get off work? And she said, I'm off work now. 
like, why? And I was like, oh, can you come over? I have to tell you something. And she was like, okay. Now this is turning to how I told my family. And then I told her, I'm just gonna tell you guys like this now, so then I'm gonna do how they reacted in another video. Um, actually, we'll put it in this video. I have plenty of time to film, okay? So, then I... I'm not done. Moving on, okay. So, then, um, I went, she came home, I said, sit down. She said, oh god, like, what? And I said, sit down, and I said, close your eyes, open up your hands. And she was like, what? And I was like, just do it. Put the test in her hands, and she was like, no, you're lying. And I was like, no, no, I'm not. And then she looked at my stomach right away, and I was like, oh god. And she said, okay. I was supposed to be the first one. And I was like, mm, well, change your plans. And then me and her were like, okay, well, what are we going to do? And we decided to, we were going to tell my sister, but we never did that night. I went to my friends, my best friends that I was just talking about that night, and I showed her, and my ex of like four years was there, and her boyfriend, that were all extremely close. Like us four are extremely close. And I showed them, they're like, oh, yep. <laughs> and I don't know, then that night I just like hung out with her and I like attempted to I'm sorry, I'm to keep on touching my hair. Um, and I hung out with her and I kind of forgot about it because it was just like a lot of stress. And then we told my sister the next day. And then that night we were meeting up with my mom. And so I told my mom at boil at bowling. So Courtney called her over and she was like, Okay, so Abby was gonna tell you something. Um, and you can't be mad. I don't like you're gonna wanna freak out one way. Don't freak out that way. Just stay calm. Mom's like, Oh god, what? And then my parents still thought I was a virgin, by the way. <laughs> they thought I was some innocent little child. Yeah, no. So my sister told my my sister told my mom that Abigail hasn't been a virgin for a long time. And, and then they all, like, my mom looked at me and Courtney, like, Courtney's my sister, looked at me and I was like, oh, okay, I guess it's time to walk over because they already told, no. My mom, wa like, I walked up and we were in, like, a separate room in the bowling area, but, like, everyone was, like, right there. So, like, you know, I told my mom so she wouldn't, like, freak out and, like, get really mad at me in, like, a house, our house, so... She, she reacted very well, let me just say. Okay. So then we told her, and she was like, what? No. And I was like, yeah. And I started sobbing. It was so, 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 so bad. And I was crying. She's like, okay, we'll deal with this. It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. And she was like crying a little bit. And then the rest of the night was fine. And then she's like, who have you told? And I've told her. And I told her. And she's like, okay, we'll book a doctor's appointment. And that's how she reacted. And then the next day I got a few text messages being like, I can't believe you could do this. I had more self-respect for yourself. And yada, yada, yada. That went on for like two weeks to like a month. It was not very fun. By the way, if you're trying to tell your parents there's no right time, you just got to tell them. It's going to be a shit two weeks to a month. Don't take what they're saying as personal. Just, I'm, I want to put that out there, okay? So then on February 11th, I've had, I had my very first doctor's appointment, and they confirmed it. I had a pee in a cup, they tested it, and then they came in the room, and they're like, yep, it was positive, and, I, and my mom was like, okay. That's literally what she said. And then they were talking to me, and then we asked a few questions, like, can I actually, like, carry a baby and survive because of how little I am? And she said, yep, that, that won't be a problem. And I said, okay. And, yep, yeah, and then we just talked about that. And then we told my dad that night, because we lied and said I was sick, and we had to go to the doctor's office, because we don't lie to my dad about that, like, a lot of stuff at all, if not anything. Um... So we told my dad, and my dad was like, well, my mom told my dad, but me and my sisters were all in the room. And my mom was like, oh, well, one of your daughters has some news and that we didn't expect, and we didn't expect this for quite a few years. 
Dad's like, what? And then we told him, and then he asked how far along I was, and at that point, I was two and a half to three weeks along, which wasn't very long, but yeah. So then my dad was like, okay, well, I guess we'll deal with this. And he was calm. Yeah, he was calm. I left that night. He texted me, and he was like, we're going to get through this together. Don't worry. We're, it's going to be okay. And I was like, all right. And then I spent the next two weeks hearing my parents talk to me about all my options, and I never wanted any of them except to keep my child, and yeah, that's what happened, and that's how I found out, and that's my parents' reactions. My sister Courtney snapped on me when I told her, and she was, I told her the same way I told my sister Megan, and she got really upset and really mad at me, but then now everyone is super supportive, super there for me, just, I... I am so lucky to have the family I have. I said this in my previous video. But yeah, that's how I found out, and that's how my parents reacted. I will be doing a Q&A right after this, once this is uploaded. So, be looking out for that video. It's going to be another talking one. And then my pregnancy update tomorrow. And, I don't know. But I love you all so, so much. I hope this video helped you in some way or what, um, but that is everything. That's all I gotta say. So I love you all so, so much, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!